What are Lunarians and how was this powerful race of gods wiped away from history? What if I told you that God Valley held the secrets to King's godly race? What if I told you that Kaido named his right hand man King to pay respects to his former captain, Rox de Zabek, who held the ambition to become king of the world? And what if I told you there was an extinction caused by even the celestial dragons during the void century as they wiped the Lunarians away from history. In other words, the original great cleansing, the first extinguished light. My goal today is to convince you that the Lunarians once lived at God Valley, so stay tuned to the very end of the video after I explain my thoughts fully and provide you with the evidence. This is part 4 of 5 of the God Valley Mega Theory. I will leave a playlist of the previous parts and other important videos relating to this topic in the description. I also leave my only extinction theory as well, as I explain how and and why Kaido's race was also wiped away from history during the void century. So let's get straight into the video and let's start out with everything that we already know about the Lunarians in God Valley. Lunarians are an extinct god race that once lived on the red line even before the celestial dragons. This means during or even before the void century. Arbor or king from Kaido's crew seems to be one of, if not the only, remainder from this race. We know the world government have an interest in him as it's implied that he was being tested on similar to Kaido when they were both captured. We also know that they are interested in him because they will pay for any information on king. One thing to know is that king and Kaido are both men members of very rare races and they both have knowledge and interest in Joy Boy. Lunarians are known for being tough and withstanding crucial living conditions. They also had the power of firebending exploding into flames as this is how Marco first speculated of King's race. Other features include black wings, white hair, dark skin, and a tattoo that King has on his face. Luna is Spanish for moon and Lunaria is Latin for moon so there does seem to be a link between the Lunarians and the moon. Now all of this will be important later on in the video so keep it at the back of your mind for now. God Valley was an island that is famous for the God Valley Incident, an event where the legendary Rocks pirate planned a massive heist, an attack on the world government as Rocks planned to rule the world by becoming the king. Roger and Garp ended up teaming up and protecting Celestial Dragons as they fought against Rocks de Zabek and his crew. This crew had members like Whitebeard, Kaido, Big Mom, and many others. Since then, the island has mysteriously vanished and is now extremely classified to very specific individuals who were there and people that can remember this era. And it's suspicious because Sengoku states that this was an island that the world government already wanted hidden. I mentioned how Kaido may have named King to pay respects to his Captain Rocks who wanted to become King of the World. I've been saying this for quite some time now and I actually ended up being right in a sense that Kaido did give him his name King as we see Kaido gave him his name the day of freedom. Then Jack and Queen follow suit. So for now I'm just waiting to see if the Rocks part is true. If Lunarians are indeed tied to God of Valley, this would also make this even more important. Now let's get straight into the theory. Is it a coincidence that the only characters to have shown any knowledge of King's race are Whitebeard, Kaido, and Big Mom? That's right, all of these three members were once part of the Rocks crew. And this is a good place to start as I believe the Rocks crew learned about the Lunarians at God Valley. It's possible that there was a pony glyph that explains the truth of what happened at the island. And God Valley sounds fitting to be the perfect place that the God race of Lunarians once occupied. Whitebeard is shown to only bring up these gods when he's drunk. And then there's Big Mom who's collecting these different races like if they're Pokemon. And she immediately recognizes that King is a Lunarian as she says he is one of the missing races of her collection. She even asks King to join her crew. And then there's Kaido who recognizes King as a Lunarian immediately when he first met him. How would he know what a Lunarian looks like or why does he even know about the Lunarian's importance in the first place? Well my guess is that these three characters all learn about the Lunarians either from rocks directly or from the legendary God Valley incident. King and Kaido's meetings feels faded in a sense 
descendants to remainders of these ancient races that have been wiped out completely. Go check out my Oni Extinction video later to understand the full context of the Oni race being genocided and being wiped away as well. So I'll ask you once again, is it a coincidence that Whitebeard, Big Mom, and Kaido are the only characters shown in the story to share the knowledge of the Lunarian race? Well, Rayleigh would say no. Remember, there are no such thing as coincidences in this world. To back this idea up further, God Valley and the Rocks were first brought up in the same arc that we learn about the Lunarians. And you might be saying, well, what about Marco and Queen? Don't they also technically know? Yes, but that is because they are commanders to these Yonko. Now to further my point about the Rocks being tied to the history of the Lunarians, I've always wondered if Rocks was actually a Lunarian. It would make sense that the strongest pirate in the seas has the natural durability and genes of a god. And this may be unlikely since it didn't seem like he had wings, but you never know, maybe he ripped them off. Anyways, even if he wasn't a Lunarian, I believe that one reason that he decided to plan the heist was because he was seeking the information about the Lunarians at God Valley so that he could expose the truth about the Void Century and the Celestial Dragons. In Japanese, God Valley is pronounced Godobare, which means the land of the gods were exposed. And so this is why I believe that even if Rox was not a Lunarian, one reason why he decided to plan the heist was because he was seeking the information about what happened to the Lunarians at God Valley so that he could expose the truth about the Void Century and the Celestial Dragons rise to power. His goal was to take them down so that he could sit atop the throne for himself. In order to become the king, you would have to know about the king and then take down the king. But the proof that Rox always knew about Lunarians comes from his Jolly Roger, the symbol of his piracy. As you can see, Rox Jolly Roger represents three different possibilities. First, the Oni race, symbolized through the Devil Horns, which goes with my previous Oni race extinction video and would make sense as to why he was interested in recruiting Kaido if this is the case. The other possibility is that this is actually a flame design instead of Devil Horns as we see that there is a red skull in the anime with a swirl, the flame representing the Lunarians. And the last possibility I see is the design is intentionally meant to be both, mixing the Lunarian flames into the Oni horns. So making this a symbol, what do you think about it? Is this evidence that Lunarians are tied to the rocks narratively? Kaido's held a grudge against Celestial Dragon, so if both of these races became extinct during the Void Century because of genocides committed by Celestial Dragons, this would all be fitting with King as the right hand man helping Kaido fulfill his ambitions to rage war against these false gods. What if I told you that the Great War during the Void Century began with Lunarian Genocide? It would make sense that Celestial Dragons would target the Lunarians first, these were threats as they would claim the throne after defeating the gods, replacing them upon the red line. Lunarians are a race of moon gods with Luna meaning moon, and Celestial Dragons are similar with Celestial meaning heavenly or referring to space, and dragons being godlike figures, especially in Japanese culture and mythology. And then there's Eim, who is the king of the gods. Get it? King and gods? It's likely that God Valley has ties to the Void Century and the One Piece as a world government wanted to keep it hidden even before, and so to understand why Lunarians are the first extinguished light or the first genocide that began the War of the Century, we have to look at the Oharans. Ohara was another extinguished light as they were wiped away with only Robin surviving. In fact, there are many parallels between Robin and King that Oda is painting for us and that is the first of many. Let me ask you, how do you extinguish a fire? That's right, with a fire extinguisher. I believe that Celestial Dragons continue to use this very specific term, extinguish the light, because they are literally extinguishing the light by massacring the Lunarians who are known for their flames. Fire represents light, and so does the moon in the night. So after this event, the Celestial Dragons always refer to these great cleansings, these big genocides, as extinguished lights. Going back to Nico Robin, she is a survivor of another cleansing, the Ohara incident, where they erased Ohara and the artifacts that held the secrets. All of their people and their culture being washed away forever. And she is also known as the Light of the Revolution, another possible reference at Ohara being an distinguished light as she carries on their wheels, reading the pony glyphs, and one day learning the true history. King's black wings are meant to resemble a fallen angel going along with the god theme, and then Nico Robin is the devil child and is now shown with her devil form. As you can see, there are many interesting parallels between King the Last Onarian and Robin the Last Oharan. And while the Oharans were learning the truth about the ancient 
Ancient Kingdom, is likely that the Lunarians are connected to Joy Boy in the Ancient Kingdom during the Void Century. So this is why I believe Lunarians were wiped out as they once ruled upon the Red Line and they started a world war with the Celestial Dragons declaring war against the Ancient Kingdom, ultimately sitting upon the throne. With Godobare meaning the land that exposes the gods, this is actually mind blowing because it goes along with the narrative perfectly. You might be wondering how did the Lunarians live at God Valley if they lived on the Red Line? Well, it's possible that God Valley used to be part of the Red Line, or maybe God Valley is simply where the remaining surviving Lunarians lived quietly and peacefully. Or maybe it's just a pony glyph that speaks of the past existence of the Lunarians so that their history would not be erased. And so now it's time to tie it back into the Oni race. In my ancient giant extinction theory, I explain how the Oni, Zunisha's race, dinosaurs, and dragons were wiped out during the war. I explain how the Oharans figured out that the enormous kingdom was ruled by an alliance between the Onis and Lunarians. The Onis were a great cleansing similar to the Lunarians, but why the Lunarians being the original extinction is important is because this event may have infuriated the Onis and Joy Boy to launch a war against the Celestial Dragons. It could be the initial motivating event and factor bringing everyone in the world at odds. It's possible that this war lasted decades, maybe even a hundred years, because we know that these ancient giants can live for that long. And so even if it was half a century long, it could still fit somewhere within the void century that was erased. And this is the beginning to the story of the Celestial Dragon Conquest. And it would be a terrifying secret to hide because if the world knew what it cost to become gods, if the world knew that they gained their power through mass genocide, it would spin an entirely different perspective on these corrupted people. So you let me know in the comments, have I convinced you that the Lunarians are from God Valley? Is there a pony glyph or some kind of evidence there that explains their downfall from God status to extinction? And to find out what really happened to God Valley, make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell like Luffy and Sky Pia to be notified for the final part of the God Valley Mega Theory that will discuss more about King, Joy Boy, and Nell, and why Nell will return to the series and his connections to God Valley. I've also made other videos that you need to see to understand the full context of the Oni genocide and to learn why the ancient weapon Uranus might also be located at God Valley. So click on one of these two videos to learn more.